Hey y'all, it's Island Coupon Gal bringing you my Sunday night Rite Aid haul. Totally on the fly. I was not planning on doing any shopping today. Lo and behold, I was just messing around, checking through some stuff, and saw my plus ups $17 expiring today. OMG. Can I just tell you that in my area, not even my area, because the closest Rite Aid to me is 45 minutes to an hour away, they were already closed. I had to literally venture out of state, which was totally worth it because I wanted to do a couple of deals that I had wanted to do last week, but like the July, I didn't get to write it at all last week. That's probably why I'm slipping on that whole plus up thing because I haven't been shopping there in well over a week. So yes, I went to Rite Aid and real quickly, I'll show you, huh, yeah, right, real quickly. So the Tide, these are the big bottles of the Tide Stain Release. They're on clearance for $2.24, y'all. Oh my goodness, that is such a good price. Using the $1.50 off um, manufacturer coupons that came out in the P&G makes these 74 cents a piece. And yes, I bought five. And if I would have had more coupons, I would have bought more because there were tons. So yeah, for five of these, I paid less than four bucks. I'll take it. These Energy Smart, these light bulbs are normally $6.99 and above. They're on sale this week for $3.99. Then there's a $2 in-ad coupon that takes the cost down to $1.99. If you still have some of the Children's Miracle Network bubble balloon coupons, there is a $2 off of any GE um, CFL light bulb. And those little twisty madus, those are light, those are the CFL light bulbs. So it's essentially they're free or you can consider it a two cent money maker on these two. Depends on how you want to look at it. Okay, uh, same thing with these Lysol. These are two for five, and for pur purchasing two, you get back a dollar plus up reward, which makes these essentially two for four. If you still have some of those Lysol bubble coupons, that takes the cost down to a dollar a piece. Really good deal. What would make this even sweeter is if you have some of those Dollar General tear pads for a dollar off any Lysol cleaner or pourable cleaner or something like that. I am not fortunate enough to ever find any of those, so if you do have them, that would make these free. And I think there might be some other Lysol coupons. My region never gets them, so I don't I don't ever have Lysol coupons, but I still thought a dollar a piece, great deal. The Sally Hansen, these are the hard as nails um, polish. And their everyday price is $1.99. With my discount, they were $1.51 a piece. I used $1 printables on each one to make them $0.51 cents a piece. The whole purpose of me getting these is because the last time I was at Rite Aid, my nail polish extravaganza was not tracking. Other things were tracking. So I had, I had no idea what I had spent towards the $30, spend $30, get $10 back. And of course, being that this was done in haste, I left every single video value coupon I own at home. So no Revlon for me. That would have been a great deal. Um, also, the L'Oreal is a good deal too. But anyways, so yes, these ended up being 51 cents a piece and I found out that I am halfway to my goal. Yeah, baby. Okay, so the Gillette Fusion, these are, the razors are on sale $9.99 this week and when you purchase one, you get a $4 plus up reward back. I don't know the limit, but I did it twice on one card and it worked no problem. Then these are a part of the spend 30, get $10 back. Regular price is $18.99. With my discount, it ended up being $15.19 $15 a piece. So two of them totaled $30.38. Perfect, right? So basically, when you purchase all four of these items, you're getting back $18 in plus ups. Fantastic, because you know we got those BOGO coupons, right? Oh, by the way, with the discount, these um, the ones that were $9.99, these ring up for $8.79 with a 20% discount, which is fantastic. Better savings. So if you have the BOGO coupons, um, buy one, get one free. And this is really weird how this worked out. The first one rang, um, it deducted $15.19. It attached to, it attached and took off the $15.19 for the cartridge. So what she did, she price modified the second BOGO coupon to take off $8.79 which is the real price of this razor, but the way she explained it to me was that adding the $15.19 together and the $8.79 together gives um, a total of $23.98 divided by two, the two coupons, it's like $11.99 off a piece, whatever, that's cool. It, this is the first time I've ever had um, a coupon at Rite Aid take off more for the value, so that ended up being great. Then there's the three dollar manufacturer coupons that just came out today. Those will take off six dollars, so your coupon total will be twenty nine ninety eight. Subtotal for all this stuff is forty seven ninety six minus your coupons. That'll give you an out of pocket of seventeen 
98. You're getting back $18 in plus ups. So it's essentially a two cent money maker or free. I think it's just free. Okay, so the Colgate. Max Clean, Max White, Max Fresh. These are $2.99, and for each one, you get a $2.50 um, plus up reward. There were 50 cent coupons that came out today that would make these just free, but there was also a 75 cent manufacturer coupon. There's a printable, and I think there's one from the 63 Smart Source. That's the one that I used. So essentially, for each one of these, it was a 26 cent money maker times three, about 78 cents money maker for this. Pretty good. These Milano cookies, nothing special. Um, these are on sale this week for a dollar, but with my discount, these ended up being 80 cents a piece. So for every two, they were a dollar 60. I used the dollar off two <clears throat> dollar off two manufacturer coupon, which made these essentially they made them 30 cents a piece. Great chimey price. These Airheads Extremes, they were on clearance for 37 cents. My son asked me if he could have them, and I said yes, because he's a sweetheart. Okay, so the physician physician's formula. Um the deal is probably better at CVS, but I saw this and I was like, oh my goodness, I have to have this, have to. So this is $14.95, buy one, get one 50% off. This one, regular price $7.95, half off is $3.97. So together, these totaled $18.92. I used two of the $3 peelies. Oh my gosh, guys, so many peelies everywhere. This place is like untouched by couponers. So it left me with a subtotal or a balance of $12.92. I got back $5 for spending $15 on Physician's Formula, which basically made these $7.92 for two or $3.96 a piece. Alternately, if you want to do this deal, you could also get something cheaper. If you get something that's $11.95, it will still get you over your $15 mark, $11.95, and then find something that's about $7.95, half off of that's $3.97. Those two together... Um, it'll total you $4.92 for two or $2.46 a piece. An even better deal than I just did, okay? The Act Two, these popcorns, I think everybody knows about them. They're on sale for a dollar. When you buy two, you get back a $2 plus up reward. Fantastic. I love extreme butter. The Tic Tacs, these are um, two for two this week. Some are on clearance. Mine, my store wasn't, so I just went on with the orange ones. My son loves those. So for every two you buy, you get a dollar back and plus up rewards. However, take a look at the back page of your ad because there is a four pack that's on sale two for five. So that's two fifty. You can use your printable manufacturer coupon, a dollar off any one. Um, and it's the big the two hundred tic tac plus or something like that, which makes those essentially a dollar fifty a piece. No plus up rewards, but a dollar fifty uh, for a four pack rather. Very good price. Okay, so let's take a quick look at my receipt. And I gotta give a shout out to my boy Tadoma. Guess what I found today at Rite Aid? You, Seren, and the lady was so sweet. I went up and I, I asked her what their policy was on expired coupons because it doesn't hurt to ask, guys. CVS, my CVS exp ex um, accepts them up to a week after they expire, sometimes even longer. So it doesn't hurt to ask. She actually said, let's try it, no problem. Um, I purchased 10 of them at first, put, gave her uh, the 10 coupons. The first one beeped, and she went like she was going to go try to press some buttons and stuff. I said, never mind, just void them off. It's not even worth the drama. I really like I think I found my new favorite store. I really want to um, make sure I can go back there, especially not over a couple of dollars. So I was originally um, counting on $12 in overage from the userin. There's where they were rung up originally. Oh, and I thought that they would have my discount applied. I guess not. Okay, so maybe $10 in overage I missed out on. So I ended up spending a little bit more on plus ups than I wanted to. So he, those were all the items I talked about. There's more on the bottom. And here's all the coupons I talked to you guys about. This is the BOGO coupon. First one took off $15.19. Second one took off $8.79. I explained the total together is like $23.98 divided by two, eleven ninety nine a piece. Those are the voided user in, all 10 of them. Okay, and I used $47 in plus up rewards. Okay, and I my subtotal was twenty two cents. Tax was four twelve. Total was four thirty four. I paid cash. My wellness savings was fifty eighty seven, and my coupon savings one hundred and nineteen seventy three. O M J. Okay, so yeah, I spent forty seven in ups, but I earned thirty six fifty, and I was counting on that. I thought it was twelve dollars, but I guess it was ten dollars in overage. So originally, I thought I was only going to spend thirty five in ups and earn thirty six fifty. So yeah, I originally had this planned as a money maker. Didn't quite work out like that. Um, real quick, I just want to tell you, I went to Target, um, and they what they did was is they gave me the shout that I was owed. They refunded the two dollars for the biz. They refunded the eight. 54 for the two brushes and then they refunded for the clipper coupon the two dollar extra coupon and then the yes to carrots that they overcharged me basically 
with a 289 and 1419 in cash, I got back 1708. They would not give me the coupon value for the